My name is Laura Brown, and I'm studying chemical engineering at Imperial College. I'm in my third year. Why I decided to study chemical engineering is kind of a long story. I'm a mature student, and before I decided to return to university, I owned a restaurant where I was also the executive chef. The thing I enjoyed most about being a chef was experimenting with the raw ingredients and turning them into products that people wanted to buy. The challenge, and this is what I particularly enjoyed, was developing procedures that made these products consistently good. When I made the decision to return to university, I thought I would study chemistry or biology, so I volunteered at a neurology research lab, and there I met a woman completing her PhD who had done an undergraduate degree in chemical engineering. She told me about her studies, and she had really enjoyed them, so I did a bit of research and talked to other engineers, and I found out that many of the things I enjoyed about the restaurant are things that many chemical engineers do every day, like research and development and cost management. Chemical engineering is a really challenging course. It requires a lot of problem solving and analytical skills, as well as technical knowledge. So when you do come to grips with a problem, it's really satisfying because you're drawing on a lot of different skills and not just memorizing an answer. I've been involved as a student representative from my university to the Young Members Forum of my local iChemE group. I've gotten to help organize events for other London students, like a tour of Imperial's carbon capture and storage pilot plant. And at the same time, I've gotten to network with young professional engineers and other students that I may not have otherwise met. Although chemical engineering courses tend to have a larger percentage of female students than other engineering disciplines, my year is still only about one-third female. I think there is still a glass ceiling for women in higher positions in the workforce, and this hasn't gone away. But I think that glass ceiling is constantly being pushed up thanks to the diversity policies of companies and the efforts of groups like iChemE and WISE to get more women to not just study STEM subjects, but to work in STEM careers. And of course, thanks to those women in STEM careers who just by doing their jobs act as positive role models for girls. Although food manufacturing is what initially interested me about ChemEng, one thing I've realized about a chemical engineering degree is that you can do just about anything with it. There are so many career possibilities that it can be a little hard to choose. But one challenge that I think I might like to help tackle is how the world will meet its future energy needs. That should keep me busy.